Hello guys, welcome once again to yet again another video. And in the last video, basically, we looked at setting up our basic routes and we saw how um, we were going to structure our application basically. Uh, here we had, would say we had pages, we had views, and then we had a layout. So for this video, um, we're going to be setting up our guard and we're going to be protecting certain routes and um, also set their different uh, token values. Okay, so um, what I'd like to do first of all is to create our guard.js. And I'm going to call this guard.js. So basically, our guard is going to be responsible for protecting certain routes that we want to be protected and allowing access to certain routes that we want access to be given to. So right now, I'm going to create the functional components as usual. And uh, we have export default function guard. And uh, we have React imported. And we are going to import a couple of things, routes and redirect. And of course, we know by now that this is coming from React Router DOM. Sorry, React Router DOM. Okay, so now that we have we have imported our route and our redirect, uh, we are then going we're then going to get into our guards. And for our guards, what I'm going to do is uh, let's see, I'm going to get rid of this first, and I'm also going to get rid of this too. Our guard is going to take a couple of parameters. So the first parameter is going to be uh, the components. So basically the component that we want to pass to our guard. So the component, the second parameter is going to be our token, which is basically the token value. Uh, say when you say uh, local storage set item or cookie storage, whichever one you choose to use. And um, then the next is going to be the route we want to redirect to. So I'm going to call this route redirect. And then we're going to destructure it from the rest. Oh, uh, okay. Let me start on this. All right, so now that we have passed the three very important parameters to this function, uh, we're going to call our route here, and uh, our route is going to take the, it's going to uh, destructure our last parameter, and uh, it's going to render a function, and that function is going to pass our props as its parameter. And uh, the function is basically going to check to see if, uh, for this video, we're going to be using local storage. So it's going to check to see if the token value exists. We want you to redirect to that specific component, which we called, uh, basically, the component in here. Uh, if the token value exists, basically, then we want you to redirect to the route that the user wants to access. But if the token value is absent, then we want you to redirect him to the route where we want the user to be redirected to. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say local storage to get item because we're going to be using local storage in here. And I'm going to pass the token. And uh, if this is true, then we want to take the user to the component. All right. Not you. Sorry, guy. Not you, I meant the component, this component that we have defined in here. So we're going to have this component. And uh, for this component, we're going to pass our props. And uh, else, we want to redirect this guy to the route, basically, where we redirect everybody who is not authenticated or basically who does not have the token existing on his browser. So to redirect to, we're going to call part name and the uh, part name is going to call our route redirect, which is basically the route we want to redirect the user to. And we are also going to pass our location, which is our initial location where we are from. So from props.location. So basically we're going to be redirecting from our location down to this location in here. And I'm going to just close that right now. And, uh, right here our route we want to close that too and we're having an error here and that's because of a couple of things that we are missing out here first of all i'm going to get this to be a constant and uh, this guard is going to be this all right so now uh i usually miss out on how to spell guard it's actually pronounced guard but i like to spell it as guard but anyway so right here and i already have guard all right let's just leave it that way guard or gout or whatever so right now we have this and we have been able to set our, our auth guard and our auth guard takes the, the component which we want to redirect to. It takes the token and it takes the route that we want if the user is not authenticated to be taken back to. So now that we have done this, we're going to go into our route.js. We're going to then import guard and guard is going to come from guard. So having done that, we can now define the routes that we want to protect. So we could very easily define all the routes we want to protect in here, but personally, for organization's sake, what I like to do is I like to always create um, separate files for private or for protected routes. 
So basically for this application, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be having a private route for admin and a private route for users. So what I'm going to do in here right now is I'm going to create a route here and I'm going to call this user private routes.js. So we have user private routes.js and in here, I'm also going to have admin private routes the js so we have user private routes the js and we have admin private routes the js now i'm going to get into user private routes the js and i'm just going to create a functional based component so rfc and yep we just have a bold tag here say i am a user private route i am a user private route and i'm going to save that and for admin private route the js i'm going to have functional components in here and this is going to say i am an admin private route and uh sorry for the typo save that okay so within our routes.js what we can now do is we're now going to import uh our admin private route private route from admin private route and we are also going to import our user private route so let me just do it this way user private route and i'm going to copy this now and user private routes from user private route all our protected routes for our user will go into our user private route and all our protected routes for admin will go into our admin private route all right so right now uh what i'm going to do now is i'm going to call not route sorry i'm going to call guard and for our guard i'm going to have a path here and we're going to have a forward slash of user and our token which is going to be the token that we are going to be setting for our user. So basically, when we set a token for our user, the token um, value, not the token value, sorry, token Alice uh, is what we are going to enter here. So I'm going to call this user token. And uh, the first parameter it takes is the path, right? Yes, first parameter it takes is the path. All right, yep, let's get back into our guard. And the first parameter it takes is the path, which is actually the component that we are redirecting to, which is the path still. Then the second parameter it takes is the token, yep, which is the token. And the third parameter it takes is the route that wants it to be redirected to. So for, for the route that we want it to be re redirected to, you can basically set any route here. So for this route, I'm going to set user slash login. And uh, the beautiful thing about this is that only the routes that will be defined within this within this user uh, private route component that would actually be protected. For example, even though this guy is forward slash user, because he's not within this guard, he's not protected, so he's accessible. Okay, so now I'm going to call our component, uh, which we are going to be defining here, and our component is our user private route, uh, basically, which is basically this here which we are, we are destructuring. So I'm going to just pass that in here and uh, I'm going to copy this right now and uh, I'm going to paste that here too. And I'm going to call this admin token. So the token is going to be admin. The route I want you to redirect to is going to be admin login, admin forward slash login. And the component is going to be admin private route. So admin private route. Yep, admin private route, user private route. And now let's save that and uh, we are then go going to go into a uh, browser basically and within our browser check this out i'm going to try to access forward slash admin and we are able to access that why let me see let me see for forward slash user and yep forward slash user it takes us back to the login page why are we able to access our admin oh yep that's because we have not set this to admin so right now if i refresh this browser this is user slash login so if I try to access uh, user, it's going to take me back to user login. If I try to access admin, it's going to take me to admin login. If I come in here and I change this route redirect to register, right? Yep, register. And I save this for a user. And uh, now if I try to access user again, it's going to take me back to the register page. So let's just set this back to uh, login. I'll save that and I'll head back to our browser. And if I try to access this guy here, user slash login. And yep, we have this dot user login. It's redirecting me back. So if I come down to my console and I do local storage dot set item, so local storage dot set item. 
and uh, for set item we're gonna call it user token and let's just set it to just token just any string would do now if i press enter yep that has set the item if i do local storage dot get item and i pass user token you can see we have a value of token okay now uh, watch this if i try to access user route now you see we have access to user route because we have the token present if i remove this token so local storage dot remove item and i remove this item of user token and i refresh this page you can see it redirects me back to our login page okay guys that's just about that for our guard in the next video we are going to be um, designing our application basically designing our home page uh, designing our header and uh, we're also going to be designing our forms our login and our register forms thank you